EFT Emotional Freedom Technique By using this technique you must agree to take full responsibility for your own well-being. EFT is not meant to replace appropriate medical treatment or mental health therapy. So what is EFT? EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. EFT is a gentle tapping technique where you tap on specific points on the body while tuning into an emotional issue that has been causing a disturbance in the body's energy system. This disturbance is called negative emotions. Negative meaning something uncomfortable and emotion meaning energy in motion. So by tapping these points that are derived from the ancient art of acupuncture and acupressure while tuned into a past emotional issue, balance in the energy system can be restored, bringing with it relief from physical and psychological problems. Let's start with the basic instructions for applying EFT. And if you have not received the EFT instructions leaflet with this recording, you can download it for free at www.walkingtall-hypnotherapy.com. So let us begin with the tapping points. The first point is called the karate chop point and it is located on the side of either hand where the little finger is and just as it is called it is the fleshy side of the hand used in karate now what I would like you to do is begin tapping this point with the index and forefinger of the opposite hand you may use either hand there is no wrong way to do this as it is a very forgiving technique Tap this point at least seven times and each of the following other points. The next point is the eyebrow point and this is located on the inside edge of the eyebrow, close to the bridge of the nose. Again, either side will do, whatever feels right or comfortable for you. Tapping this point with the index and forefinger seven times. The next point is the side of the eye. This point is located on the bone on the outside edge of the eye socket. Tapping this point again with the same two fingers seven times. The next point is under the eye. Again this is on the bone on the underside of the eye socket. Tapping again seven times with the same two fingers. Next we have under the nose. This point is under the nose between the nose and the top lip. Again tapping here seven times. Now moving on to the chin point. This is located in the dip between the lower lip and the chin. Tap here seven times also. The next point is the collarbone point. To find this point run your finger from your chin down your neck to about where a man ties a necktie and you will notice a V where both collarbones meet. Now from the center of this V run your finger up either side until you notice where the bone angles off towards either shoulder and it is at the tip of the bone where it angles off on either side. This is where to tap. This is what we call the collarbone point. Tap here seven times. Next I would like you to pat under your arm on either side with the palm of your hand along the line where a lady's bra strap would be. Pat here seven times. This is called the underarm point. And the last point is located on top of the head, around where a girl will have a hairband cross her head. 
pat here with the palm of your hand seven times. Now if you need to go back over this section to familiarize yourself with the points before moving on, please do so now. Alright, so let's begin your freedom from negative emotion session. Now the first thing I would like you to do is think of a time you felt negative emotions recently. There's no need to go searching through memories for the right one. Whatever was the first memory that came to mind, as I said, think of a time you felt negative emotions recently. As your unconscious or subconscious mind always associates every piece of input with a reference point, and the input it has received here is words asking for a recent event or time you have felt negative emotions. Now we have the beginning of a thread of associations and reference points connected to those negative emotions. So that thought, memory that has come to mind is our link to other similar negative emotions or unresolved issues that have caused you to have these negative emotions and feelings. Okay, now that you have that memory of that recent negative emotion, I would like you to measure on a scale of 0 to 10 of emotional intensity. Again, don't look for conscious right answers. Whatever number just pops into mind is always the right one. Because we are dealing with unconsciously triggered emotions, the right answer has to come from your unconscious mind. So the answer may seem subtle as it pops to mind. So just be aware of what number has come to mind. Okay, now we have the materials to work with. So let's go by saying after me, while tapping on the karate chop point, even though I have this number of intensity, I deeply and completely accept myself. And again, even though I have this number of intensity, I deeply and completely accept myself. And one more time, even though I have this number of intensity, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now begin tapping on the eyebrow point and say this number of intensity. Side of the eye. This number of intensity. Under the eye. This number of intensity. Under the nose. This number of intensity. Chin point. This number of intensity. Collarbone point. This number of intensity. Now pat under the arm and say this number of intensity and the top of the head, this number of intensity. Now take a deep breath and as you release that now, just measure the breath and that remaining intensity and see what number comes to mind. Okay, here we go again. Tap the karate chop point again, saying after me, even though I have this remaining number of intensity, I deeply and completely accept myself. And again, even though I have this remaining number of intensity, I deeply and completely accept myself. And one more time, even though I have this remaining number of intensity, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now tap the eyebrow point while saying after me, this remaining number of intensity, side of the eye, this remaining number of intensity, under the eye, this remaining number of intensity, under the nose, this remaining number of intensity, collarbone, this remaining number of intensity, under the arm, this remaining number of intensity, top of the head, this remaining number of intensity. Alright, take a deep breath, filling your lungs 
and as you exhale, measure the intensity that is still remaining, if any. Okay? Got that now? So here we go once again, while tapping on the karate chop point, while saying after me, even though I still have some intensity remaining, I deeply and completely accept myself. And again, even though I still have some intensity remaining, I deeply and completely accept myself. And once more, even though I still have some intensity remaining, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now begin tapping the eyebrow point while saying, still have some intensity remaining. Side of the eye, still have some intensity remaining. Under the eye, still have some intensity remaining. Under the nose, still have some intensity remaining. Chin point, still have some intensity remaining. Collarbone point, still have some intensity remaining. Under the arm, still have some intensity remaining. Top of the head, still have some intensity remaining. Very good. Take a deep breath once again and as you release that, checking once more if all that intensity has come down to zero. And if not, you can go to the last track on this recording for mopping up any unreleased intensity of emotion connected to this particular memory or event before moving on to the next section. All right, as you have moved on to this section, you may have noticed while working on the previous memory or event, other connected thoughts or memories were coming to mind. And if you have moved on to this section and found that you have had difficulty getting the intensity number down to zero, as your thoughts kept wandering to other connected events, I would like you to run through the previous section again, making sure to stay focused on only that event or memory you are working on. And as you continue on here, keep focused on the issue we are dealing with. All right, assuming that you have got the previous memory to zero, I would like you to bring another time you felt negative emotions to mind. And if you have one already that came to mind while working on the previous issue, that's perfect. All right, I would like you to bring a negative emotion memory to mind again. Not questioning or not censoring your thoughts in any way. Whatever comes to mind is the right one for you linking and connecting at an unconscious level to the previous memory. That's right. Just follow those feelings. Now as that memory comes to mind, I would like you to close your eyes. And as you listen to me, allowing your eyes to close and go inside, any feelings that may be connected to that memory, maybe being able to notice where they are inside your body. Because when we say we feel bad, we are actually expressing verbally a feeling, a sense inside yourself. So just begin to notice where those feelings are. And as I say that it is not so much having to feel discomfort, but what comes to mind as I say, notice where those feelings are. And whatever comes to mind is the right answer. Very good. Now I would like you to put a color or a shape on those feelings. And the reason for this is your unconscious mind works with symbols and pictures. And that's how it works at night in your dreams, clearing up unresolved issues from your day. A bit like a rebooting system on a computer. So what shape 
has come to mind and those feelings all right now what color can you put on those feelings because if your feelings have a shape they must have a color and if a color comes to mind first those feelings that color must have a shape all right now allow your eyes to open and let's do some more tapping beginning once again tapping on the karate chop point and saying after me even though I have this color and shape of feelings I deeply and completely accept myself and again even though I have this color and shape of feelings I deeply and completely accept myself and one more time even though I have this color and shape of feelings I deeply and completely accept myself now begin tapping on the eyebrow point while saying this color and shape side of the eye this color and shape under the eye this color and shape under the nose this color and shape chin point this color and shape collarbone point this color and shape under the arm this color and shape and top of the head this color and shape take a deep breath and as you exhale and release that checking for any difference with that color or shape and noticing the difference in that remaining color maybe it has even changed to a different color and if you notice or sense in some way that that color that comes to mind feels to be right for having no emotional intensity left for those negative emotional feelings your work is done on this particular issue and you may want to start at the beginning of this session again recalling another unresolved negative emotional event and gaining even more release allowing you to access more of your personal energy that has been used up suppressing those memories and causing the unconscious reactions that have been outside your control until now okay so if you still have some remaining shape or color connected to those negative emotional feelings Let's continue letting go of them now. Beginning once again on the karate chop point and saying after me, even though I have this remaining color and shape of feelings, I deeply and completely accept myself. And again, even though I have this remaining color and shape of feelings, I deeply and completely accept myself one more time even though I have this remaining color and shape of feelings I deeply and completely accept myself now tapping on the eyebrow point while saying this remaining color and shape side of the eye this remaining color and shape under the eye this remaining color and shape under the nose this remaining color and shape chin point this remaining color and shape collarbone point this remaining color and shape under the arm this remaining color and shape and now top of the head this remaining color and shape take a deep breath and as you exhale and release that checking for any difference with the color or shape and just as before noticing any color or shape still remaining maybe it has even changed to a different shape or color and if you notice or sense that in some way the color that comes to your mind feels to be right for having no emotional intensity left for those negative emotional feelings your work is done on this particular issue 
and if you still have some color remaining connected to those feelings of what happened then just notice what they are and let us continue by beginning once again tapping on the karate chop point and saying after me even though I still have a little bit of this color and shape of those feelings I deeply and completely accept myself and again even though I still have a little bit of this color and shape of those negative emotional feelings I deeply and completely accept myself and one more time even though I still have a little bit of this color and shape of those negative emotional feelings I deeply and completely accept myself now begin tapping on the eyebrow point while saying little bit of this color and shape side of the eye little bit of this color and shape under the eye little bit of this color and shape under the nose little bit of this color and shape chin point little bit of this color and shape collarbone point little bit of this color and shape under the arm little bit of this color and shape top of the head little bit of this color and shape taking a deep breath once again and as you exhale and release that checking again for any difference and if you have any color or shape there still connected to those feelings and negative emotions of what happened then Continue on to the last track for mopping up those tiny fragments of intensity that are left. 